did you come in here to write this essay with me? I hope you did. I had the best time and I videotaped myself writing the essay so you can see me go through the highs and lows of writing an essay of finding awesome information and then having the whole thing fall apart near the end of the pro process. The essay that I wrote is a sociological one, anthropological. It is related to the study of mankind, why people do what they do, how things happen when they happen, and that sort of a focus. And I had such a good time doing this because I chose a topic that's interesting to me. And it's interesting to me because it just is. And sometimes that's the topic that I encourage people to pick. Whatever's interesting to you. Is the idea of an F-22 interesting to you? Learn about it. Study about it. Find out about it. This was something that has fascinated me for many years. And that is, how in the world did Woodstock 1969 happen? How is that even possible? And so I set on the journey, and you can see in video one where I say we because I feel like people were with me while I was doing it because I was recording it live as I was writing the essay. And from the start, it was like, what's the topic going to be? And what are we going to do? And then through all of the, uh, the different phases of writing the essay. Now, if you don't want to watch every single one of the tutorials, I don't blame you. We had a lot of fun and they're kind of funny. And you just hear me going, what? What am I? What? Are... And so that's kind of fun. But I do have them uh, organized and they are labeled as to what they dealt with. The outline is the determinant. How long is an essay? The outline determines that. So I show you our strategy and our strategy, when you look at it on the Word document that we created, the strategy is very simple. How did this happen? Well, there are the things that can be measured. How many people came? How many people showed up? How many people knew about it? All this kind of stuff. That's the practical information. And then how did it hit a tipping point where all of a sudden it turned from 50,000 people into 4 million people? And that sort of thing. So there's that foundation. And then here comes the theory. That only goes so far. Factual information only goes so far in something like this. Then it becomes immeasurable. How? What? What? And so that's when I included tutorials where we went into a spiritual realm. Something had to be in charge of that because there was rainstorms throughout the entire weekend and a three hour downpour on the Saturday afternoon or the Sunday afternoon of the festival. Three hours. 600,000 people huddled under tarps, mud going everywhere, filth everywhere. How did nobody die? And people will say about Woodstock, oh, well, yeah, they were all on drugs. Right, which is exactly why somebody's judgment would be impaired and they would die. They would drown. They would lay on their back with their mouths open and, and you know, and that didn't happen. How's that possible? And so that's the greater question that I wanted to answer. Now, when you look at an essay that you're writing, you're going to be thinking, well, what's the best evaluation for something? What were the causes and effects? And those are shorter essays because you still have what's the cause? What's the effect? What's the problem? What's the solution? But here we had an extra element. What's the practical application? What's the theory? And so I had a lot of fun doing this. Look through, see what you want. The PDF is down below, and if you want to just look at the essay, you can, but then you'll, you know, it's long, but I have pictures, and uh, I think a picture says a thousand words. I think qualitative analysis is fundamental to any essay, and I know many essays are written without any kind of charts, graphs, pictures, images, anything like that. I get it, but that's my style. You don't, you know, we have some, uh, some objectives to meet and one of those objectives is that you understand quantitative analysis which is numbers stat, statistics so forth and that you understand qualitative analysis which is pictures graphs charts images that sort of thing all right so anyway have a good time with this i hope you enjoy we really took a tur uh, journey back to 1969 and i had a lot of fun doing it and 
I hope you'll have a fun time taking a look. That concludes this tutorial. Welcome to Woodstock.